I'm surprised John Mark. I'm gonna pick up his head, finally he's done. It's rain, is it? Mandalo. Hold on, hold back, back, John Mark. Just crank her up. Yeah. I'm going to help him back. That was an in-tune. That was. It's worth two. Alright, so we're picking up finally is that GTR? It's a GTR. It is a GTR. I see that dude on thing is coming down for some headers. It's headed to velocity. It's like how a mound to be. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna pick up uh, Joe Morris' heads off his OBS. He doesn't know, we didn't tell him. So we just kind of, I guess, surprise him. A little surprise. Picking up his heads, we could get his truck running. Hopefully, I'm sure he'll be done and finish it today. We got all the parts, we just need to slap it back together. Uh, so, um, yeah, so they got a fix at Rick's uh, machine shop. Shout out to them to get us back running. Uh, they, they, they replaced the valve and they should be ready to go. They say uh, to check the seat on it and everything. So we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna head back to the shop, finish our work, and probably after our regular business hours, which is we're gonna probably st we're gonna probably put this truck back together. It's that OBS at the four-way stroker, 80 mm turbo. It's uh, like 1100 horsepower OBS. So we're two weeks away from the event, so we need to get uh, Alexis Almanza's truck ready with the nitrous kit. We still need to fix uh, easy clusters as uh, SS, Serato SS, fix his nitrous kit. The F-150 is ready to go. Uh, and just finish Joe Mars and it for now. And uh, yeah, we should be ready in two weeks now. So I'm ready. I'm ready. At least my truck is ready. I don't have a truck. I don't know if my motor is ready because I'm going to turn it up. But like last time I turned it up, I broke an axle. Hopefully I don't break anything, but I'm, if it doesn't burn eights, then just gonna blow. So the only, thing you're, to blow, so. the only thing you're gonna break is whoever's hearts you're racing. <laughs> Wise words from Lewis. Okay. Uh, getting here at Rick's machine shop. Pick up, pick up the head. Get it. Pick up the head and. Back to the shop, slap it back on, see what Jomar says. He doesn't know we're picking it up. I just told him we're just running in there. Let's see what they got going on. 20 minutes later. <sighs> yes, sir. It's all good. Oh, God. Yeah, I bolted it down to the center console. Everything good? Yeah, it's good. We just gotta put the spring back on. Yes, sir. Alright, so these are cast PRCs, the 255cc's. So, what what cast means is that PRC makes their own, like this whole block of aluminum pretty much was made out of scratch. Well, out of a piece of cast and then they machined it out to their specs or their, their needs. Um, and then they have the other regular PRCs which they use a stock core. Like you can get this same lookalike head, but it'll be a LS3 core or L62 core or something like that. Then they use that and then they, they port it, they change the valve, spring, machine it, they make it look new. But this one, it's a six bolt. You can see the bolts on this side. You can put it on a six bolt block, like on the LSX or a dark block. You know, and then you have it on the other, the other ones on this side, the little studs that go in the head. That way you uh, have more clapping power and you could make more power without lifting head. So yeah, this is just a little, I guess, little info on what cast, the cast PRC heads mean. I'll leave it. Uh, he said everything was good. Uh, he just said left the valve, pressure checked it. He said it was good. Yeah. He didn't resurface it. He didn't put it down. He said it was good. I guess they, they, they uh, honed it. Yeah, it looks good in that part. They hold the guy. Very smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. It looks good. Yeah. Sure, we have to have the Some dye. He, he, he just like... Cut it. It was clean, how can I do it? It was surface. The next day. Alright, so we're doing some uh, troubleshooting now on Freddy's truck. We're just having issues with the uh, thing right injected now? driver or something on the computer. Uh, we're not getting the pulses we need for the injectors. So we have 12 volts, so just the grounds are 
went there. Everything's the grounds are on the harness. It's just injectors aren't getting their grounds, or like out of mm -hmm. sudden it kind of wants to. But yeah, we're just checking that. Other than that, it's pretty much done. You need to check on the tram once it starts. Um, like I said we had a problem with the one? converter or trans, yeah, the and I was slap on another one and let's we'll just conclude his truck for now. Um, just get it to the dyno after this, and let's see. Well, I guess we'll see how much power it makes. Should make a thousand and should. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the goal. A thousand and run nine fifty on it. It's a three seventy again. Mm -hmm. Like I said, stock crank, just rods and pistons, board over thirty. So. Yeah, like always, we got projects. Projects, projects. We can put Joe Mark's truck back together. Yeah, we're we're looking for another technician. Gilbert stated I was not a mechanic, a technician. Yeah, so we're looking for uh, one more person. If you have experience with LS stuff, LT stuff, uh, modular stuff, be an extra. If you can weld, it'll be an extra. And pay will depend on what you know how to do. We want somebody who already knows what to do. We we would teach somebody, but we don't really have the time now. We just we need somebody to just they're ready to go. They come in and they're ready to go. They know what to do. Uh, we have had like people tell, oh, I'll learn and you know we could teach me, but now that we don't want to teach people, just we really don't have the time to like like we barely have time to like work on this stuff. So we don't have time to teach somebody. So if you have experience, if you'd like to come to a new place. And you join the Velocity family. And you boys. join the Velocity family. We have pizza parties every once in a while, so. <laughs> <laughs>
hold the two step back on, put the valve covers on. We're just waiting for the MPT, the 10 a.m. Uh, fittings. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I'm kidding, wait. I was whispering at first, but I'm not, I got in the moment and it's so The next day. Alright, guys, so uh, we're gonna head to Texas Speed right now. Yes, sir. We've been having issues with logistics and parts and stuff. Well, getting stuff here in time. Nothing against them, it's just, you know, everything's messed up right now, and I know they're moving locations, and one year we need our parts already, so we're waiting for parts for a couple, couple weeks, over a month, so we're going to take a trip down there in the shop truck, so uh, pick up the parts we need, um, and I'll be curious to see, I've never really driven it before, so, and hopefully we get a little tour or something at Texas Speed, so that's what we'll be doing today, I think we're like three and a half hours from here, so we should get there like in ten minutes. Before we take off, I had to um, put in true cooler and I had to cut my grill just so I could get air in there. But I ordered my EcoBoost grill, so I'm gonna swap it out right before we leave. That way, my transmission gets the cooling it needs. It still did around pretty cool though, but I'm gonna make sure. I'm not sure I don't run into any type of issue on a long trip. So that goes there. off as well. Crazy, I don't know. They knock out the cams every four minutes. 
they have two machines, so they make a lot of cans. But even then, they're still backed up like six weeks. Can't imagine how many people want cans right now for some reason. But yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna head back now. Uh, if y'all need any parts, we have a lot. We just pick these up and we're getting our headers. So we have uh, we have an order like over 30 cams. We have the DOD kits. We have gaskets, seals, oil pumps, lifters, everything, and we have a lot of it now. We had to drive down here because their their shipping is a little backed up right now, and I'm like, man, I just need to. Regardless, I still wanted to drive this thing for it because. I do want to drive it to Mexico, that's another video we'll do is, uh, sometime Sometime in the near future, I do want to take it down to Mexico But actually drive it there, like actual Mexico So I was, yeah, let's see how it, how it runs right here, 3-4 hours from the shop I had a warning of like severe storms or something like that or, So, it looks okay now, hopefully we don't get caught up Because we have drag radios all around huh. I was like, man, at least I have four highs, so in case something does happen, I'll just drive 20 miles an hour on 4x4. Four four. It should be okay though, so y'all yeah, stay tuned. A few moments later. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes since the uh, last part. I said that uh, it looks like it's gonna rain. It has a rain, it has a rain, but the roads are wet, so now I'm going 45 on a 70, and I'm on 4 high. So. So I'm gonna take it all the way down to Houston unless it dries up. So like, I just wanna get back home safe, that's all okay. Oh big that to fit. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> Back to work at the shop. 